Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can apply conditional formatting uh, in visuals or charts in Power BI. So you may be familiar with conditional formatting in Excel wherein it changes the color of the cell based on its value. Now Power BI can also do that okay, in its visuals. So I am going to show you first how to create a visual. So I have here a clustered bar chart visual. And take note, I've already created my data model here. So which also means that I've already uploaded the files. If you need um, a procedure on how to do this, uh, there are already videos about that that I've made. So I can put the link in the uh chat or in the comment or in the description of this video so for now everything is ready i already have uploaded the data so i'm now bringing in my chart and then i will create a let's say bar chart and i will drag let's say the uh, product name and i will put it on the y-axis and then after that i will then put in the numbers okay for my uh, chart so the chart the numbers i'll get from my table here that says sales that is where i can find the order quantity and because of this i will be creating this uh, bar chart over here with the product names on the left side with the axis and of course the values the quantities k okay, in the uh, x-axis now you will notice that it only has one color and that is because, just like in Excel, if you have one set of data, then that set of data will be one color. But what if we want values that are, let's say, more than 100 to turn green and, let's say, yellow for middle values and until it turns red. So that is a job for conditional formatting in Power BI. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the visual. And we are going to go to the Format Your Visual tab. So over here on the right side, under the Visualizations pane, you will see the Format Your Visual. And from here, you will see two options, the Visual tab and the General tab. So the General tab is more concerned with some properties, some, some title, okay, effects. So what we really want is the Visual tab. And with this, you will have the option to modify the settings of each of the chart element or visual elements. So we have a way to control what the color is for the y-axis, what the color should be for the x-axis, um, should there be grid lines or none, and so on. So this is the pane for that. Now, since what we want to modify are the bars okay, of the visual then we have to go to the bars option so take note i have here bars because i have a bar chart if you have a column chart then this should say columns if you have a line chart this should say line so this option here bars okay is present here because this is a bar chart if you want to apply this technique conditional formatting in your visuals in other types of charts or visual then you may need to explore what a setting you should be modifying okay so it usually is applicable to that chart for example a pie chart would have pie instead so here i will uh, click the bar and you will notice that under the bar settings you have a drop down for color so this one allows you to change the color of the bar so let's say i'm going to change it to this color here and you should see that it's now updating now that's not what I want. Okay? I want the bars to change their color based on its value. So I will click this button over here, the one that has the FX icon, and you will launch the conditional formatting okay, for this okay, element, the bars. Take note not to confuse the FX button of other elements. For example, if I go to the Y axis, I will also have the same button over here, the FX conditional formatting button, but this one is more on the texts of the Y axis here, the one that says road 150, 488, and so on, the text on the axis. So every time, actually, most of the time at least, that you can change the color, 
if you see an fx button a formula button like this it means that that chart element can employ conditional formatting so in almost all okay um settings that has the color you can click this so make sure that you are clicking the right one so in this case i will go to bars and click the conditional formatting button for the bar chart and then they will get the pop-up wherein you have the color categories and you have here rules so you have to uh, you can create your rule you can also apply gradients and field value and so on so for now i will go with rules i will explore the gradient later okay so i'll go with rules and you have to make sure that the second setting here this one that says what field should we base this on is correctly identified as to which value we're going to base the color of the bars so as you could see we're getting here first product name and that is wrong we're not going to base the color of our bars based on the first product name we have to base it on the order quantity because that is what the values are in our chart so i will drop down here and locate the order quantity field so that i have here the sum of order quantity and this is where my bar colors should base its um, color and now that i have correctly identified that i will now create the rule so uh, it says here if the value is greater than or equal so let's say if it's uh, greater than or equal to 100 and then you have to change this into a number so if the value is greater than or equal to 100 and less than okay less than what now it's possible that you're not familiar with what the highest number is okay what's the highest order quantity or the highest amount in your chart so you don't really have to worry about this you can type the word max on that field so max number so greater than 100 and less than the max number you want it to be green now if you're using the default palette of power bi you will notice that there's no green color here so you have to go to more colors and select the green shade that you prefer i'll select this one and click okay outside of that palette and now i could see that it says here then then the color that i want now i want another color right so i want the yellow one to be the value of those that are more than 50 but less than 100 so i would click new rule and i would continue the rule that i have here so if it is greater than let's say 50 number and less than 100 then the color would be yellow then i would create a new rule for the last okay, option that i have so if it is greater than zero or the minimum value just to be sure and if it is less than 50 number then i would choose a red color for that so now we already have created the rule okay for our conditional formatting so make sure that you do not overlap your numbers because it will be wrong right like for example if here instead of 50 i wrote here greater than uh 100 you will see that power bi is going to tell you that there is something wrong so there's be there's going to be a red information icon here that says please check the logic of this rule so power bi is somehow already aware that something is wrong in the logic in the structure the hierarchy of your rules so once you fix that the red warning will disappear now i could now click ok and let power bi perform the task and there you go so now you have applied conditional formatting in your uh, visual or chart so i hope that helped you okay but if you want to watch this video further let's explore the other tools of conditional formatting so there's also another one okay another form of conditional formatting and that is the gradient conditional formatting so you will notice that again in the bars i have to go back there and you will see that i lost that drop down for the color 
because I have a conditional formatting applied. So I don't have it anymore. There's a button now replacing it, okay? And it's an eraser icon saying remove conditional formatting. So you can click this so that it removes the rules or any format that you selected for this um, chart element or visual element. So now I'm going to go back to the conditional formatting. And again, this time I have to go to gradient. So for the gradient, is you're going to choose from which color to what color you want your bars. So unlike your uh, rule, okay, that you can strictly identify or specifically identify when it turns green, when it turns yellow, and so on. This one is a bit more um, gradient. So it's going to transition from one color to the other. If you want to add the middle color, you can do that here. And you can then choose another color if you prefer. So let's say that it's the lowest value. I will click red and then yellow. And then let's say I want also the green one for my maximum value. So you also have the option to edit okay, this field here. Okay, let's say you want it to be a specific value. But take note, it's currently grayed out. And the reason is because I'm basing it on my count of product name. So I have to change this, if you remember. So not based on the count of product name, but rather the sum of order quantity. Okay. So next is I have to change this. For example, instead of lowest value, I can then customize it. And let's say starting from the value of 10, it should already be the red most color. Okay, so you're setting the minimum, it's going to be 10. By the moment that it's at 10, the number 10, then it's already the red most okay, value. Same here, I could customize this so that if the value is already 100, then it should already turn green. No more transitioning or whatever when it reaches 100. So with this, I can click OK. So now I have a different option, a different style. So you will notice that the moment that we got 100, okay, among this uh, somewhere here, it's already the same shade of green. While in between that, we're seeing a transitioning color, okay, from green going to yellow and then going to red. And by the time that you get 10, then it should already turn red. And there you go. It's a little bit different, okay, because it's more of transitioning from light to dark color, okay, or depending on the three colors that you chose, or just two if you want. So those are the two options that you can do in your conditional formatting. You can apply that in other uh, settings or visuals like in the y-axis. You can also apply this in other visuals as long as that visual supports this kind of feature, then you can do the same thing. So for now, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I'll try my best to answer as soon as I can. But for now, uh, this is it. If this helped you, I would appreciate a like and subscribe in the channel. It really helps us be motivated in creating more videos for you. For now, this is it and I'll see you in the next video.